Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Rena and today I'm doing a video of speed montage creation of Dead Squirrel. So for those of you who don't know, he is a Twitch streamer as well as a YouTuber. I enjoy watching his content with cartoons and Kyle and the others. So here are my rendition of how to create Dead Squirrel in, as a Vroid model. I was trying out a few different techniques for this one. Let me tell you, I did not show you any footage of how I created how I created his body structure and or outfit because I forgot to record it. Um, also a heads up, you may see this character in the near future just because I did do quite a bit of work on how to create uh, male muscular features using this model. So just a heads up, you might see him again. Anyways, so as you can see, the outfit he's wearing is one of the sweaters uh that's provided for you in vroid studios i just cropped it so it just suited the structure that i wanted and then i was trying to make him uh a look a little bit more pudgier rounder because you know squirrels you know excess skin around their stomach and they just like little cute pudgy looking squirrel um yeah so that's that's kind of what i went with the sweater because in vroid it's either you get like a scrawny torso and like thick legs <laughs> or you can use clothing to make uh additional body structures vroid needs to step their game up and allow people to add in that kind of feature like our actual waist increase but anyways so for the shoes and hands i use the shoe function and the mitt functions where you can make them massive so i just used the shoe one and combined it with the hands because i didn't really want to have two different layers to work with um by two different layers i mean two different components not like actual physical layers as you can see on the left hand side of the screen i basically just took the the oversized shoes and then drew in the uh plushy look because i already had an outline of that so i just kind of went with that and just colored the, the using colors that worked with the character model and redid that there so I wanted to make sure that we have everything outlined and trying to keep it uniform so I went back in and re-outlined everything but just keep in mind that when you are doing a character model using uh, the sweater and you're trying to make the clothing link with the, the body there's going to be a bit of overlap so you're going to have to go back in with the two different layers to make sure you get everything covered which I do later. I don't think I showed you it just because it's just unnecessary to show you every little detail. So for the head, I didn't use the hair outline. I just kept him bald and then just covered over that. And then it wouldn't be dead squirrel if we didn't mark out half his face or have the scarf. So I kept the scarf there. Um, they didn't have like a nice big triangular one. So I just kind of kept this one and just colored it blue. Um, oh yeah, I also, before I marked off the brain, I wanted to add the ears just so I know where I was in time and space and like where I should put that line. So basically, it was really nice that Vroid has this feature where you can actually add in the animal ears without having to customize your own. I mean, you're customizing with coloring, but before or back in the day, like I say back in the day, like it was so long ago, it was literally like maybe like two years ago, where if you wanted to create your own ears, you had to actually physically make them so it's nice that they have this in here that it makes your life so much easier so once that is done i just played around with the parameters and kind of set it however i want it to look and then eventually i'll come back and do some minor adjustments okay so back to the face i wanted to mark out where i wanted to remove the brain because you know it wouldn't be desk roll if he wasn't partially dead like zombie like so Yep, there's my two colors. I like those two pinkish colors for the brain. And then I just mapped out the surface area. I was trying to figure out if I wanted to do it as like a physical drawing of the brain or if I wanted to actually put some structural component into the brain. But I want, went in and still drew in my physical drawing. And then I removed all the unnecessary detail over that area. Oh my God, my computer keeps going to sleep. 
<laughs> as I do this voiceover. Okay, so now I just took out the eye and then I was trying to remove the white part of the eye. Then I realized that you kind of have to color it. So as I was doing the editing portion of this, I realized that on the left hand side, there's an area that says use color collaboration i think that's what that says i'm i can't see that from here um so i probably could have just used the original colors instead of just tinkering with it like i did but in the end it came it was a good thing because it gave me a color to use as an outline and i didn't notice that until i was doing that feature and i came up across that darker color and i was like oh my god that looks great it's an outline let me go back and outline everything so <laughs> that's what i'm doing in this clip so you're just gonna see me outline parts of the brain to make it have a bit more detailed I was really going off on here, man. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of brain matter, brain pieces. I don't know what a brain looks like, even though I've seen one a few times, but I don't really remember how to, to draw it. So there we go. Okay, so now I wanted to change the eye because I thought it was a bit too detailed. So I wanted just a simple black eye because I'm trying to make it look like whoever's drawing i think it was jihi or i don't really know who drew this picture right here but i thought this one was super cute so i wanted to keep it similar to this so actually in the end i ended up redoing the mouth and the nose a little bit to add in some more detail and make it flow better so they're all connected i think i just made his nose a bit bigger but i don't think i added that footage uh, you'll probably just see the end result later Okay, so I just wanted to add the little tuft of hair that he has um, That you see in some of his pictures. I think when it in his like thumbnails You probably see the little tuft of hair At the top and then for the tail That'd be great if you know like how they do with the ears They can also add that thing with the tail Making that a little bit easier. So it's already preset to their um area that'd be nice you know you know vroid we can get on that that'd be great thanks but anyways so if you're going to make a tail in vroid make sure that you remember that it is paired still to the character's head so i'm going to add this character on booth um but i'm going to pair it to their waist after i upload it um onto unity so that way when you guys use it when you're turning your head the tail shouldn't move too much but if the character's body moves then it would move uh that way it doesn't look as weird wow. okay so this is what i was talking about i was trying to make the brain a bit more realistic so first of all i took out the ear because um he doesn't need the humanoid ears at the bottom uh at the time i honestly don't think i even noticed the one on the left technically his right ear <laughs> But anyways, I was like, okay, well now that we have the brain and we got that one ear down, so let's remove the the, the big ear at the top. So I got that out. And the brain was just grossing me out. I don't know. I couldn't do it. It just looked so gross. <laughs> Even though I created it. I was like, I don't want to look at this anymore. <laughs> so I uh, was trying to figure out how to make it look less disgusting. And I wondered if it was just because I didn't do the texture on the back of his head. So I tried that. I tried to re-add in his brain matter. Oh my god, my voice. <clears throat> I tried to add in his brain matter in the back of his head. And um, it still wasn't doing it for me. Like that, those brain squiggly tissues that was coming out. It was a bit too 3D for me. And I couldn't handle it. So in the end, I, I, I got rid of it. But if you guys like it, I could put it back on there and put it on my booth site like that but to me I it just looks disgusting so <laughs> I went back in removed it and then we still have that issue with the ear so I was trying to use that brain matter to like cover up the issue with the ear and that didn't work so now I had to draw it in and that was my dilemma so here's me just trying to figure out what to do with the ear so I just continued drawing in the the brain but obviously it's still gonna look like an ear at the end of the day. So I was really trying to figure out um, how to make a blend. And then I found this feature where you can just like 
smush the ear into the skull. You can, it's technically called the remove ear feature. Had no idea that existed, but yeah, so that's the end result of the character. As you can see, I changed around the mouth a little bit, but don't you think he looks so cute? Um, but that is it. So let me know if you like this character. I think I'm going to be adding a few other details onto it before I add it onto my booth shop, but I'm going to try to make more and let me know who you'd like to see next. Okay. See you in the next one. Bye.